All right, so let's install WordPress. So before, um, I like opening new tabs every time I do something. Like I don't like opening windows, uh, a page in the same window because it's a lot easier to go back to a page when you have a new tab open. So if you're in a Windows, hold Control. If you're in a Mac, hold the Command and then click on the link. And this way the link opens in a new tab. Okay, so this is where you install WordPress. Now here it takes you directly to the install WordPress section and there are premium options. You don't need any of this. This is what I'm going to be showing you. This is how you're going to be saving money by watching this video. You don't need to pay anybody to do to install a theme for you. Uh, and uh, like it's super simple. Why would you pay somebody 300 bucks? All right, so you'll be taken directly to the installation um, box right here. But if you're not, pretty much your options are right here. One click installs, you click on that, go down click on WordPress and you're back at the same place so click on install WordPress here is where you're gonna pick your domain name the install path we're gonna leave this blank we don't want to install our site into a subfolder we want it to be at domain name.com not at domain name.com slash websites slash something just domain name.com type in your email address I've already type it in mind before so it pops up automatically type in the title of your website the name of your business or whatever type in your username and then type in your your name now you might want to use your real name here because when you later when you set up a contact form and people send you messages they're gonna get an automatic responder from you and this is the name that's going to be in the email. So you might want to put in your real name here or just put in a business name or wh whatever you want. Put in whatever you feel is appropriate. And then click install. Click no thanks. And then click on my installs and go down. Now there it is. There's your WordPress. Now, if you go to this website now, it's not going to work. That's because it takes some time to a dom for a domain name to become active. Like mine works, but you're probably going to get an error page like this. Like, I'm just going to type in a fake domain name. You're probably going to get an error page that looks something similar to this. And that's because it takes about 20 to 30 minutes for your domain name to become active. So just be patient. I'm going to show you how to do a bunch of other things while this is happening. I'm actually going to reset my password here because um, you get an automatic email after you've installed this. So go to go to your email and check your spam spam. Um, sometimes it goes to a spam box. So actually here I, I'm using Google, so it actually went to the promotions tab. Quick install powered by whatever. Congratulations! Click on this email, and this is uh, this email contains. The URL to your website, like I just tried, I just showed you that if you go to it, it will not work right now because you gotta wait 20 to 30 minutes for it to get activated. And this is your login link. This is where you're gonna be logging into your WordPress website. It's got your username, it's got your password. I'm gonna reset my password just for this tutorial, but I highly recommend that you keep, you wanna keep a really long password for your website because there's a lot of hacking going on these days on, inter on the internet. The internet is much bigger than it used to be. And it's a really, r I've, had ha I've actually had sites hacked before. So I'm just recommending, use a strong password. Never use a weak password. Don't repeat the mistakes I repeated and just, just follow, follow the instructions and you'll be fine. I'm actually gonna reset mine just so it's easier for me to log in. And if you want to reset yours, you can do it here after you click on my installs and just reset it here. And if you're going to use your own, make sure it's super long and it's got like numbers, hashtags, all kinds of stuff in there. Like I said, you don't want your website hacked. Okay, so while we're waiting for the domain name to become active, uh, there are a couple things we're going to do. Go to your, um, go back to your hosting panel and click on the file manager. Hold control, then click. 
you'll get this box showing you like where do you want to go we want to go to this public HTML WW folder and we want to see hidden files and if you don't want this question being popped up every time you click on file manager you can skip this question but I'm gonna leave mine click go here you're gonna need to delete two files so look for a file called default HTML and look for a file called favicon dot ico you're gonna it, you might not have these when I installed WordPress for the first time on HostGator I had these two files which were interfering with some stuff so you, they just gotta get, be removed if you don't have them then you're fine if you do select them click delete uh, I apologize for that error message okay select them select the file click delete and then you can select the other one or you can still you, you can hold shift and select multiple files at a time it's you know it's up to you how you want to delete stuff so get rid of this favicon thing delete that okay so that's done